Good morning. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 13. Three. <laughs> Welcome to Vlogmas Day 3. I am like on a high of life right now because I was just able to get through my entire workout without having a low blood sugar. All because of this guy. If you guys didn't watch yesterday's Vlogmas, you wouldn't know. But... I started the Omnipod period, but it's the Omnipod 5 and there's a workout mode and I was just able to make it through my entire workout without having to eat sugar and without going low. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn workout mode off and I'm really excited to your activity off because, and I'm really excited because this is like my first day really using it because I... Um, yesterday I had taken my long acting insulin in the morning and so we had it on a certain setting all yesterday so now we're rolling 123 steady after my workout with no sugar that's crazy that's crazy I'm so happy right now <laughs> so happy like if that's all the pump does I'm happy because I don't know I've just always been a big workout person. It makes me really, really happy mentally. Like I just genuinely enjoy it. And it's always just been a big part of my life. And having to like hold myself back from anything active was kind of making me sad just because like, like I love to just like be playing around in the pool and cycling and dance and walking around and just like random sorts of energy. like. That's just like who I am and how I like to be. And so it kind of sucked that I would always like have to kind of hold myself back because I was gonna have low blood sugar. Like not if, it was like I'm going to. So now it's like a lot harder to have one during activity. So I'm very, very happy about that. But real automated mode is on now. Anyways, I'm gonna go get dressed for the day and I think we might go to the farmer's market. It was pouring this morning, but the sun did come out. There are rain clouds still, but I think they might be going away. So who knows, but I really wanna go to the farmer's market. So we'll try to make it happen. All righty, you guys. We are dressed for the day and we are going to the farmer's market. It's 10.50, oh, sad day. The farmer's market that we always go to is closed for the season. I didn't even realize that it was only seasonal very sad but it's open like fall spring like that it's not in the summer i guess which i sort of get because it just gets like super hot <laughs> but there's another farmer's market that we're gonna go to looks like it can it might be good maybe it'll be better who knows um yeah we're gonna go try this one out and see what the deal is. Also, I recently got these sunglasses from Ray-Ban and I'm obsessed with them and they're so cute. Also, hopefully they have some sort of coffee there because I really want coffee, but if not, I'll have to stop afterwards. But let's go. Um, So update, the farmer's market also is closed for the season, so. We're just stupid, but in my defense, Google said that it was open. You had to do some more digging to find out that it was closed for the season, but it's okay. We're gonna go to a indoor, it's not a market, but it's called a beach market, but it's like a food court, but like a nice food court. And it's super fun. And there's gonna be food, because now it's almost lunchtime, and they also have coffee there, so. I am content. It's actually in the city that we used to live in, Del Rey. So, that's that. Say hey, queen. Hey, I know you can't see through that. I the viewfinder's on. Not the top part. It is now. No, let me see. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> Look, did, did you see through it? Ew, there's chalk. Chunks for Brecky. Okay, it's kind of loud in here because there's music, but got two chicken tacos, Avery got two birria tacos, and I got a coffee, and yeah. Okay, bye. Okay. 
let me put you guys here. Lunch was delicious. Like, really good. I got two tacos and they were fire. Also, I got a cold brew with sugar-free caramel and cream. It's really good. And we are now gonna do something fun. We're going to go drive by the Airbnb that we used to live in. You wanna put the address on? Yeah. And here, let me walk and talk. So we lived in an Airbnb for a while and I don't even remember how much I ever said on my vlog or anywhere because I think we were vague, but I'm pretty sure that the Airbnb owner was up to no good. So basically what happened was I literally have it on video and that, it's insane that you have it I on know. video. So at the time I was on Forgot. the dance team at the college I was attending at that point in time, FAU. And they were watching. I know. And also at that time was like peak COVID and so everything for my dance team was online including like we had to uh record ourselves all the time or no well yeah so we had to record ourselves all the time to like send in like so that the coach could like see us doing the routines and stuff like that and um and like also i would record myself all the time because like it was palm so it's like different than like dance dance it's like cheerleading dance so I liked to record myself to see what I looked like anyways I was in our kitchen living room area and I was recording myself and um, all of a sudden there was like oh and Avery at the time was in the outdoor shower in the backyard mm, that's so scary and all of a sudden I hear a bang 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 you know what I'm just gonna include it Okay, let me take you guys through this. So I go over to the door, I look, and no one's there. So I'm like, okay, what? That's super weird. And then this is when I went over and I called Avery because I was like, okay, why is no one there? That's super sus. Basically that happened and we called the Airbnb guy and he was like, um, oh, like that's weird. I don't have anything on my camera, like the security cameras. Um, like whatever. I'm like, okay. And then was it the same night or a different night? It was like the next night, right? A different night. It was like a couple nights later. Yeah, a couple nights later, there we're is. sitting at the Oh, there it is. Oh, someone is there. Oh yeah, both units I rented. Um we were sitting at the table and again, bang bang bang, she heard Wait, it this time. T turn around, I wanna see the houses they were building there. Okay. Um, I'll do a uh, turn. So then they knock again. Oh wait, I didn't even say it. the very first time it happened. I called Avery and I was like, "Was that you?" And she's like, "Was what me?" And I'm like, "Did you just bang on the door?" And she was like, "No." And I went out. And she was literally just in the outdoor shower. And anyways, the the guy was like, oh, "Nothing's on the camera." So then the second time, we called again and we were like, naked in the outdoor shower. By the way, yeah, she was naked in the outdoor shower. Um, we called again. And we we're like, it just happened again. And he's like, "Okay, let me check the cameras." And then he was like, um, I don't see anything there, but I will be there in a few minutes to show you guys the footage. And according and to us, he lives in New York. According to him, he didn't live here. He lived far away, but all of a sudden he was able to be there in like, he said like two minutes. And it's a duplex, so I don't know if he was like in the other unit or what. But he kept saying like, there's no footage. Um, like the cameras didn't pick anything up and the cameras literally would pick up like everything. Like if a leaf blew by, the cameras would pick it up or there was like a cat that kept walking by and he, when he was showing it to us, there was a gap in the times. Like- No cars, no cats. No cars, no, no cats, like, anything. but there would like, there was always something. So we called the police a couple times. I think the first time we called the police just to like take a look. The second time we called the police and we told them, we we're like, we think this guy is lying. Um, Cause he's, I think he's like, I don't know, whatever. He's like creepy. And the police like went and checked on him and like whatever. And then the guy the next morning, oh wait, that night though, he kept insisting. He's like, I'll be there in, um, five minutes 
and we're like no literally do not come like we're not meeting you outside at night to like talk about this like we can talk in the morning and he's like oh then he showed up he was outside he's like i'm outside and we were like no we can talk in the morning like in the daylight and long story short the next morning he comes and he's like i don't know maybe it's like I would say it's like mangoes falling on the on the roof or something, but there's no mango trees. Like making a joke. And he's like, are you sure it wasn't the ice maker? I'm like, it was a knock. Two times. It was this whole big thing, but basically we ended it's up a having- a real knock. You listen for yourself. Yeah. It's a knock. We ended up having to move out early. Like months early. So that was that. But, um, okay. I was going to say it's not in a great neighborhood, but going back, that neighborhood's perfectly fine. It's because they updated it. Oh yeah, it's, it's like caved and everything, right? Yeah. Um. Anyways, what do you want to do? That is it, right there. And we or we lived in that unit. Should I go down this alley? Mm -hmm. This used to be not paved. This was all dirt. This was not a house that was being built. No, that wasn't being built. The white one was being built. This oh one was yeah, the white one. Existent. Yeah, and this was just like all dirt, and this was not paved. This was like dirt as well. This was our bedroom. Oh. <laughs> Well, we're finally home. That was an adventure. We left at like, oh, it's only 2.30, Avery. Oh, wow. We left at like 10 or something. Or no, it was like 11. We're just getting back home now. But I got a package in the mail that I'm excited to open. I ordered this backpack to use as my like backpack for traveling because I think I might be able to fit all my diabetes supplies and like the rest of my just like carry on items in this one backpack, maybe like in a perfect world. So we'll see. Here she is, super cute. So I guess we can go through it together. So there's a zipper pouch here. This would be good for like AirPods, so that's cool. And then in here, okay, that's cool. I, I like feel like most of my diabetes supplies can actually fit in here. So that's awesome. I have this pouch here, which I feel like could be really anything. It's like pretty big. Um, then, wow, this is actually really big. In here, we have more space. That could be like, chargers maybe maybe like I don't know like genuinely this is gonna be perfect because I, I don't even know what I would pack in here <laughs> I think this will be the perfect size and then in here is the biggest pouch and this is where you can pack like actual clothes and it's all just the size of a backpack like literally personal item size that is super cool this thing is huge it's gonna be perfect there's a laptop spot. Oh my gosh. This is like actually perfect. But the real test is I wanna see if my insulin cooler will fit in that pocket. If this fits, it's gonna be like incredible. Oh my God. It fits, Avery. Look. It fits this perfect. Shut up. Oh, literally, let me give you a tour once I turn the camera off because this is like, Seriously, perfect. I'm so excited. That is so cute too. Right? Okay, yeah. It's amazing. And there's like a thing to attach it to the luggage for when you're like walking. Obsessed. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it started to rain. Yeah, honestly, it's a vibe. But fun fact about me is one of my least favorite things to do is like after you get home, dealing with everything that gets dumped on the counter is like by far one of my least favorite things in the world. Um, yeah, but I do have to put this stuff away. And then I honestly just think I wanna just relax for the rest of the day. It's three o'clock. I wanna put laundry away. So I'm thinking I'll watch some YouTube while I put the laundry away. And then after that, I feel like I might read. I'm still reading, it ends with us. It's so good, I just can't get through it. I don't know, I've been reading it for like months now. Um, but I definitely like it a lot. So, yeah. Also, super annoying, but like, I 
feel like I'm always having to pay for things for diabetes that insurance technically covers but doesn't cover as much as I need it. And it's really frustrating. Um, like, why do I have to spend $200, like, all the time for something that insurance covers, but they're just like, oh, actually, we cover, but you can only have it when we say. It's like, well, how about you give it to me when I need it? Huh, <sighs> doesn't make sense, but it is what it is, I guess. What else? Yeah, that's pretty much it. I am going to go do some laundry now. I think I'm going to get into something a little cozier. Because why not? Also, I'm like so obsessed with my Omnipod. I'm like, I'm just so happy. Like, for example, um, like I had a plum and some cheese and like it gave me just like a little bit of insulin. Something that like my in pen that I was using before like wouldn't recommend. Like if it was less than half a unit, it wouldn't recommend it at all. It would just say zero. And I really like that this is so specific. Like it was like, actually you can take this much and it's like the smallest bit of insulin but it makes a difference um okay anywho i'm like just shoveled right now <gasps> ah, guys can i just say like <laughs> when you get a second to just like chill during the day it just feels so good like i don't often just like lay during the day just because there's always like a video to be filmed or a video to edit or like a brand deal to fix or comments to reply to or like just like errands to run and especially lately with like all the diabetes stuff like so like there's always something or like doing school and it's a saturday I don't have anything to do and I'm literally just chilling. I did the laundry and now I'm like, I guess I can just like lay down and watch some YouTube. I'm in cozy mode. That's the thing with me. Something about me is as soon as I see clouds in the sky and like if it rains, I'm like, okay, it's a rainy day. And I go into rain mode, which I really like. It's like cozy and I feel like rain is like the one thing that makes me like slow down and just like, just be <laughs> and so then it gets like gets rainy I get all cozy and then the sun comes back out and I'm like now I'm like wasting the day away but it's literally always sunny in Florida so <clears throat> we're fine <laughs> wait no cute hey guys we are chilling. We need more uncle for. We went through another two? I don't know where it is. I think it's in the car, Bob. There's already one in the car. We have two. Well, you had the other one. Where? You took it out of my bag. Liar. She's lying. No, you really did. Right? <sighs> <laughs> what does it smell like? Cheese. Cheese. Oh, from popcorn. Guys, <laughs> Avery and I just posted on my story our impressions of each other's Instagram stories, like how we post Instagram stories, and this is our example <laughs> of mine. It says. <laughs> Sometimes less is more and like a tiny emoji <laughs> and a tiny font lined up with like the seam of my hand. And then this is my example of hers. It's so true though. Let's see, do you have a story right now? I'm putting this on the internet. Your feet are jaundice. <laughs> Stop. Are you gonna put it on the internet now? Jaundice. <laughs> Stop! My girlfriend has jumped. Stop! And I'm staring right at her. <laughs> They're not. Why are they <laughs> that color? Dinner time. Dinner time. <laughs> Avery's beating her meat. And this is what we're having tonight. 
chicken, air fried, of course. Chicken, comma, air fried. I'm just being funny. Chicken, um, chicken, chicken air comma, air fried. Like, it's just a joke. Um, <laughs> <laughs> some more right rice and some English green beans. with my waist subject. Cooking with the Blanchards. The Blanchards! <laughs> We can make some salt. No, oh I don't God. think I'm gonna salt them. I don't think you need salt. There's salt in all the seasonings. <laughs> Cute Avery over salting. Oh, what time is it? Okay. My vlog's gonna post in half hour. Media hora. Media hora. Okay, wow, laundry's on again during dinner. <laughs> but, very cool technology. We're bullseting for dinner again. So I'm eating 27 carbs. Use CGM, I'm at 91, so here goes nothing, confirm. Do you have a review of your Omnipod so far? I'm obsessed with it. Me like, too! Actually obsessed, it's like, I don't even know how to explain it. I just finished eating, but um, first of all, these are really good. These Waterloo, if you haven't, oh wait, Avery, I don't think that coconut one's Waterloo. Okay, maybe it is. It might be the brand Waterloo, but there's this coconut flavored sparkling water that's like my favorite sparkling water ever. But this one is really good. The summer berry. Did you guys say berry or berry? Berry. Berry or berry. She says berry. Berry. Okay, berry. Berry. Airy. I think it's more of just a southern thing. What's another word I She said berry, terry, cherry, scary. I'm just kidding. You scary. 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 Yeah. Yeah, cherry is cherry, not cherry. And like my mom's name, I say Terry, not Terry. I am gonna end off this vlog here. I think we have enough footage for Vlogmas in July, day three. Hope you guys enjoyed. Tomorrow we'll be cleaning, because Avery's dad's gonna be spending the night here, so I wanna clean up this apartment because it's disgusting. Cleaning. Mmm, that's kind of it. Maybe we'll go to like a little cafe or something in the morning. Yeah. Something fun. But make sure you guys follow me on all my other social media. And it's up on the screen for you guys here so that you guys know where to find me. And make sure you guys are subscribed. We just hit 79k today. I'm pretty sure. So getting closer and closer to 100k. And all that being said. I love you guys so much, and I will see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 4. Good night.